What's up, everybody? This video is a bit chaos. That's why I'm filming this intro. Um, I already know it's going to be all over the place. So this is my 04 G35. It's going to be a certified ripper. Um, completely stock G35. No handbrake. No nothing. Um, so with the G35, since I just sold the S14, I'm going to be trying to do like a little challenge. So I just got this car, right? And we'll see if uh, in a week's time is the next Showtime event, which is like a track uh, in our little area. And you don't need too many qualifications to get into like tech the car and whatnot. Um, so I'm going to try my best to get this car from literally stock open, not open diff. Uh, I think it has a VLSD and nothing ready, like stock suspension, everything. I'm going to try and see if I can slide this car in a week week's time so here goes the build <laughs> yeah so it's a different day still got the 240 there sold that one to my brother so we got the g35 today i got it insured uh registered all that good stuff so it's an 04 g35 with the de motor um 140 000 ish miles you know so relatively high ish but not too bad i'm hoping uh, hopefully it wasn't used too much for drifting. It's, it still has a VLS, VLSD in it, so not welded, so that's kind of positive, I guess. <laughs> uh, the, some stuff is kind of fucky, like I gotta fix that headlight and whatnot, but I got this car for three grand, dude. So, kind of happy about it. That works, which is pretty cool with that little tool. <laughs> and, you know, bodywork, whatever, who cares? I'm not doing that anyway. It's gonna be a drift car. So. Axles out. Those are so tight and fucking annoying. And I'm working on the drive shaft right now. And then a few things on the diff, and then she's out. 
Drift car shit, dude. Alright, so we got the axles out. We got the sway bar down. I got the two bolts above the differential. Um, pretty loose right now, so they're not dropped yet. So the diff doesn't drop, obviously. And then we got this last 17 right up there. And then that's really it. And then she's dropped. So hopefully this goes good. Hopefully I don't tear my axles like I did on my 240. Actually, I'll have you guys join. Oh. All right, so holy shit. Alrighty, and just like that, I got her all safety jacked, cleaned up the tools. I gotta put some other stuff away, and we're done. We got that diff out, boy. This thing looks really nice too. Doesn't look like it leaked at all. This is kind of concerning a little bit, but I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> Not right now. Uh, so we're all good to go. I labeled all my shit. We're all good. And uh, I'm going to call it a night for now. I'll see you guys probably when I'm welding it or something. Adios. All right, my dudes. It's the next day, I believe. <laughs> and we got my passenger princess here. Good old Diffy. Oh, what's up, baby? So going to my buddy's shop. I'm going to get this welded up. And uh, I'm going to head there right now. So... Let's go. We're in the 240. Let's get it, baby. <laughs> Made it to shop. No breaking. Look at this guy. We are now part of the YouTube squad. Big character type thing. <laughs> All right, after extensive cleaning with this mineral spirit stuff, this baby's pretty, pretty clean for the most part. So now I'm gonna use the brake clean, get it fully clean, and we're gonna weld that baby. All right, so we were told to weld in these little gears right here, not all the way to the outside, because that doesn't matter as much, but you really wanna get, you can't really tell on camera, but you wanna get in the gearing, and then on these passes right here on the side, so. If anyone else is doing this, if we do it right, I'll let you know, and that's the right way. Alrighty, and we're back. It's been like forever, like a week. I got the diff sealed up, I got some new headlights, and we got to put this all in because there's been a change of plans. So tomorrow, actually, oh no, tomorrow's Friday. Well, technically today is Friday, but it's late night Thursday, if that makes sense. Saturday, we have a drift event to go to. Alright, so my GoPro batteries are being fucking assholes. I probably look stupid right now, but I thought I'd give you guys a little update. I got the diff in, for the most part, I got, well, not yet. I got the stud in right there. So, I just gotta get these two bolts in, and then, uh, 
a few other things and then she'll be in. I'll let you guys know when I get that. The rest of them. Alrighty. The diff is in. We have the nut in and then the two bolts in the back. I figured before I start putting the axles in and everything else, we got a little mystery box here by GK Tech. I'm going to open it real quick and I'll uh, show you guys what's inside. It's pretty nice. Throw that stuff in there so it doesn't go all over the place. Oh, we got stickers too. Let's fucking go, dude. Hype. Hype. All right, so we got this piece. Bop. We got the very nice bolts. Ooh, with the Z and the G on the back too. That's pretty cool. Another quality product, it says. That's actually a pretty cool. That's sick. I like that. All right, awesome. new update, guys. It's raining. Looking pretty cool. So I found a trunk for 60 bucks. Um, one second, I gotta latch this up. For 60 bucks, I ordered a latch and it already came in for 50. But this one has a spoiler, and I kind of like the look of that. And it's not paint match, which kind of sucks. But I'll paint it black. I uh, but it has a wing. And so water won't get in my trunk when it's raining like this, like Florida does all the fucking time. So I think I'm just going to splurge the 10 bucks and uh, get a cooler trunk. So that's the plan. I'm headed there now to Tampa. So we'll be getting her done. I want you guys know how it goes. I got to stop by the auto store real quick too. And it's 830. So we got to hurry up. Just unloaded. Got back from Tampa. We got pizza, baby. My buddy wanted some pizza, so he's coming over. Got some cheap pizza. Why not? That'll be a fun night. Got some Infinity Trunk. I love the emblem, dude. That looks so sick. And the G35. I really like it when it has the emblems, honestly. I don't like when they delete them, like they did on this one. It almost looks like this one didn't come with one, though. I don't know. But I'm gonna get that on. I'm gonna eat some pizza. We're gonna have some fun. I'll record some clips here and there, but putting oil in the car and getting all that done. Also, still gotta put this headlight on. A lot of work we gotta do tonight for the track tomorrow, so should be fun. All right, homie just left. It's like way later now. Uh, we got the white trunk on. It latches, very nice, but it doesn't open still, unfortunately. The sensor or something, the connector isn't fucking sending power. I don't know, I'll have to figure it out another night. I was fucking with it forever. And I know there's a lot of jump cuts going on, but it's just a lot of bullshit going on. So the diff fluid's in. Oh, let me show you guys real quick. Uh, you can't really tell, but my shitty exhaust is back on and I had the diff brace on. Um, so now my buddy gave me some oil and I'm jacking up the front and we're gonna put some new oil in her. And uh, after that, just clean up a few things here and there and get ready for track day shit. I just realized you guys haven't seen under it yet, and neither have I. So, I'm gonna take my first look at it. Hopefully it's not too bad. I know it leaks from the oil pan. So, we'll see. Holy shit, it's leaking from everywhere, brother. Um, brother. Oh, looks like my trans doesn't leak too bad. That's cool. This has a really cool uh, bash bar plate or whatever. What the fuck's all that wiring, dude? Gee willikers, dog. Fuck's sake. Overall, it looks pretty healthy. That O2 sensor is not O2ing, I can tell you that much. Looks like they fucking did their own kind of shit. I think they extended these because it's not the right exhaust or something. I was told this might be a 350Z exhaust. Interesting, interesting. So, I mean, we can work on it, that's for sure. So, everything looks pretty alright. I might eat my words, but. We'll see. So, I'll start fucking pulling that oil filter off, and hopefully, it's just that gasket that's causing. I mean, you can see it right here. It's causing a lot of residue right there. So, that should definitely help it by plugging that. I'm gonna spray this all with brake clean, and uh, I'll get back to you guys whenever we get all that done. All right. I don't know where I left off, guys, but I checked the oil and all that. I uh, it's all good. I took this baby out. 
for its first joyride with my one headlight that's opposite from this headlight but we ball and took it just for a little ride to make sure my axles don't explode since you know we welded it so who knows what could have happened to be honest and i i did a little slide and i should have recorded it but holy shit this fucking thing is down dude this thing is nuts it's gonna be so much fun already now we got the infinity and it's fucking looking good dude and performing good i'm so excited dude fuck it We got the G at Chipotle currently, waiting for my buddy. Um, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna grub a little bit. We got a little steak burrito, you know what I'm saying? So, gonna do that. We got the, I think these are 350Z stocks on there. So, we gotta slide those babies. We got, I think, two spares in the back. Um, run a little late. My buddy needed help and I had to help him and a bunch of shit. This is my first event and man, everything wants to fucking go all over the place, but we're getting it together. Um, I'm letting this cool down real quick. So I can put some distilled water in it. I think I dropped a little bit when I was doing the oil cooler gasket. So I'm gonna try to fill it up just a little bit. We'll see if it needs any. Um, yeah, should be good. All right, new update. It's raining and I don't have wipers. So I got my handy dandy fucking squeegee. And I'm squeegeeing this motherfucker while we drive. We're doing good. corner we're stopping to get a drink i believe we got kyle my boy daryl a little nervous uh we'll get it done though so it's up to you okay so drive 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 at your own ability <laughs> all right thank you yeah <laughs> Yo! I kinda got that last corner just barely. Bro, you did good on your first one. No. You were, no, you did. You just were throwing too much because you were fucking nervous. That's bro. the way it goes, bro. I, it's, it's like, no, the thing is, though, once you get in it, you I can tell you're set. Like, you're good. It's just like I said, you get nervous because you're like, oh, and then you let it go. And then you yeah. Go. Bro, that last corner I just did, it was like, I felt it the whole way. I saw Aaron, I was like, shit, and I stopped. Bro, this is so fun. Dude, I'm glad you got into it, dog. I'm so happy. Bro, let's go. Oh, my God. Like I said, sooner or later, me and you going to be running tandems once you get this all dialed in, some coils. Bro, I don't even have coils yet. That's what I'm saying. Bro, there's no arms, no coils. No, no, bro, I'm not to that track line. At the end of the day, you just need a welded diff. Did yeah, that's all I got. steers off of this? Huh? Did you take the bump steers off? I didn't have time to. Okay. I was gonna, but I was fucking running. Okay, I everything. would recommend it because that's gonna change your whole little angle setup. Because granted, like, it's not an angle kit, but bro, I promise, like, that's gonna save you I a would do that. I'm gonna do that when I get home. Bro, I'm telling Dude, you. Dude, this is... Bro, hell yeah. Dude, ah! Hey, that though. was better. That was better. Yeah, I got that last corner. I was corner. telling you about the speed. Yeah. Bro, you're coming at that wall. Bop! Yeah, but, nah. but you see how when you snap, it like held it. you lose half your speed. Yeah. So like you you're see coming me. in fast, but the second you start sliding, you, you start slowing down. Did you see it start holding though? Am I, yeah, I yeah no, you did good. You it's did crazy because it's all like, it just locks. there's a lot it's going like, on, you know? Did they give you a layout again? It's the same layout over yeah. and over. Everybody, let me hop in line, let me hop in line. Should I hop in? Uh, you got a helmet? Yeah. 
I, I fucking. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Had someone shooting fucking flames over here. Show's dope. The G made it. We fucking we're good. All in one piece. Huge thanks to fucking this guy Kyle. This guy fucking helped kill it. He got all my shit in the back of his truck. Has been a cool friend. And check out his channel. I have it linked in the book in the description. Look at this. Look at this. Fucking flamethrower, baby. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. So, I'm so happy, honestly. That was a lot different than what I've been, like, thinking, honestly, on the track. So, I'm so glad I did it. We got the car all pristine. We're going to start driving back, and we got to get some drinks, dude, because we're both dying. So, I'll see you guys in a bit, maybe. All right, the audio is probably pretty shit, but we just went to Gandhi Bridge, which is, like, a little meat spot. Hung out there for a little bit. We're on the way back home. Said it's like a 40 minute drive or so. I had a great time. My car's still in one piece so far. Hopefully it makes it home, but overall, man, my camera died, it's about to die again. But overall, great job, and I'm on my way home, so we did it.